Welcome everybody. Today we're going to be making some Rice Krispie treats in the Ninja Foodie. We're just going to be making some plain ones today. Perhaps next week we'll be like peanut butter and chocolate or maybe we'll use Fruity Pebbles. But this is just a quick fun video how you can make uh, Rice Krispie treats in your Ninja Foodie. So come on over and let's get this crispy treat started. I apologize for any lawnmower noise. My neighbor decided to mow his lawn right now. So to get this crispy treat started, you're going to select sear saute. Defaults to high, we're gonna lower it down to medium and we're gonna hit start. We are just going to follow the recipe on the back of a box of Rice Krispies. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna take four tablespoons of butter and just put it right into the Ninja Foodie and we're gonna let that melt. While that's melting, we're gonna go over the list of ingredients and we're also gonna prepare our pan. That's that's actually gonna melt pretty quick. You're gonna need um, six ounces or half a box of Rice Krispie Treats. Just make sure it's a 12 ounce box. You're gonna need 10 ounces of mini marshmallows, which is this bag right here. You're also gonna need a bit of vanilla extract. Uh, you're gonna need a little bit of extra butter to butter your pan. So I'm just gonna go ahead and butter the pan real quick. You can spray it with like a butter spray if you have it. I don't have a butter one, I have pan, but I don't have a butter spray. So I'm just gonna lightly do the pan. I'm just gonna show you quickly how to do this. Just use your hand with the excess butter because you don't want like enormous amounts of butter in here. Once again, I should have went over this. This is an eight by eight pan. So what we're gonna do next is, and yes, this is a shiny brand new bowl. Just got a new one. I'm just gonna dump those marshmallows right in there. And we're just gonna melt these marshmallows. This is quick, easy, perfect for a snack. So this has probably been melting for maybe like a minute and I'm just keeping it moving because I do have it on medium heat and I do not want this to burn. So I am gonna add just a little bit of vanilla extract. Maybe like a half a teaspoon. And that is a sizzling. That's why I wanna keep this going. You can turn the heat down on the Ninja Foodie as long as you keep it going on medium heat, because it's starting to see how it's starting to burn a bit. What you can do, you go ahead and lower your Ninja Foodie down. I'm going to turn it down to low medium. And then hit start. So this is melted just where we want it. You're going to take those Rice Krispie Treats, just dump them in. And you're just going to stir this up. Oh, listen to that crunch. Oh, fabulous. Keep it going, because once again, you don't want to burn this. No, oh, this is awesome. Go ahead and shut your Ninja Foodie off. Keep stirring. You want to make sure you have a pot holder or a towel at the ready because we're just going to go ahead and pour this in to the 8x8 eight eight pan. I just want to mix this up just a bit more. Make sure there's no clumps of marshmallow in here. Pick that Ninja Foodie pan right out of there. Once again, be careful. This is super hot. Oh, look at this. Fabulous. It's starting to cool down already, so I gotta get rolling here. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right, we got some still left in the pan. Let's get it out. Ooh. Take your spatula, press it down as best you can. You can use your hands if you coat them in butter, but I think the spatula is gonna work out just fine here. Try to make it all even. And look at that. That is some Rice Krispie treats that are made in your Ninja Foodie. Look at this, taste test. Mmm, delicious. So I'm gonna let these cool to room temperature and then I'll cut them up and we'll do another taste test. Excuse me, so I just did one. See, look at this. Mmm. You know something? Let's get to that taste test. Rice Krispie Treats and your Ninja Foodie. Yeah, I'll be bringing these to work tomorrow. I can't remember the last time I had one of these. I think I had one when my grandmother made one, probably 20, 30, how am I? Oh boy, more than that. We don't want to talk about the, the years. But let's give this um, a good old taste, taste test. Nice crispy treat. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna wrap these up. 
I just figured it'd be a fun video. So if you like the video, quick, easy, thumbs up, subscribe. Stay tuned for more Ninja Foodie videos as well as Ninja Foodie Grill videos. Thank you so much and take care.